period of time. There are very varied kinds of definitions around what an impact fund is. But Avishkar specifically is a commercial fund that is focused on investing in businesses that are working with low income and poor population. Uh, we are specifically trying to make an impact on the lives of the people, but actually trying to make money. Uh, from a strategic perspective, as far as Avishkar is concerned, we look at impact in two forms. Uh, is Avishkar taking significant risk? Is it actually identifying first generation entrepreneurs? Is it going to geographies that no other fund would be willing to go? And on the other side, we are looking at do the companies we are investing in work strategically with poor and low income population. However, our return expectations are almost the same. And the thesis for making a return comes from the belief that if you are going to a large geography with large people, and since there is no competing fund, you can invest as lower valuation, build a company, and then attract mainstream capital to create significant value. So we want to make as much money as mainstream funds, but at the same time, we want to make a difference. We have been getting continuously a lot of requests from very different parts of the world to start an Avishkar or a replica of Avishkar. Uh, we thought about it and we realized one of the core strengths of being in Avishkar is our ability to invest in businesses uh, whose context is well known to us. So if you draw a big circle around India, you would actually see Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka and Indonesia fall into that circle. Uh, these are the countries which have similarities with India in terms of cultural context. They have very high density population and they are not very far away from India. Generally, we invest in very early stage businesses. Mass food is slightly different from that aspect. It is already an operating business, but given the fact that we are going into Sri Lanka, which is a small country, given the fact that this enterprise wants to expand, uh, become more professional, and want to go to the northern sides of Sri Lanka, which is the earlier conflict area, and make significant impact, uh, we thought this actually signifies what we are trying to achieve. Build a commercial, scalable enterprise that is, desire, with, that is desirous of making a significant impact on the lives of people. Avishkar is part of the Avishkar IntelliCap group that we started in 2001-2002. Uh, as things stand today, our belief is that Avishkar and IntelliCap both will operate in Asia and Africa for next 8 to 10 years. We are looking to take Avishkar to around $1.5 billion in assets and uh, make around 300 odd investments across Asia and Africa. Uh, so that's really the plan. So there are about 7 billion people in the world and we believe that there are at least 3 billion people that are at, you know, at the fringes. So these are people who are socially, culturally and economically excluded from Main Street. And IntelliCap is an effort to close the gap in inequity. PRISM first of all stands for Portfolio Risk um, Impact and Sustainable Measurement. That's what PRISM stands for. So I'll give you an example. If you are building a school, for instance in India, uh, PRISM can actually tell you whether uh, the invest if you're investing in a certain district or a certain geography in India, within India, it can tell you whether investing in a primary school is better to do it in that geography versus another geography. What is the need for a primary school? Because you could be opening a primary education center in a very big city actually, where the impact is completely dilutive. So basically it contextualizes the geography and the conditions within which you are making impact. It brings a lot more transparency and accountability to the fund managers. So that's really the purpose and you know idea behind PRISM and uh, we have been very successful because we have about six partners on the platform already and a lot of people are using it to see.